Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a get ready with me for my pre-wedding shoot with Kairun. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is place my eyeshadow base and I'm using my NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow base because it doesn't budge like the eyeshadow will not move if I put this on. And then I'm going to layer on top of that um, Max Paint Pot in Indian Wood just so that the colours that I put on top of the base will pop. Today I'll be using my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and the first shade I'm going to use is the shade White Peach and I'm just going to place that from the brow bone until the crease and then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and the shade Georgia and I'm going to um, place that into my crease and blend it out and kind of blow it out a little bit um, because it's my transition shade and yeah, this is the start to build up my crease. Then I'm going to take a Zoeva blending brush and I'm taking the shade Summer Yum and I'm going to place that into the crease as well and I'm slowly using this colour to build up um, the intensity in the crease area of my eye. And then I'm taking the shade Candied Peach and I'm just popping that into my crease area and Candied Peach is actually a peachy orange shade and I just like having this shade in my crease. And then with the shade Charmed, I'm sure it's a chocolatey brown shade and what I'm doing with it is I'm placing it at the outer part of my eye and slowly bringing it in with this blending brush by 13 Rushes. And then taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff everything out so that there are no harsh lines. I'm taking a flat shader brush and spritzing it with MAC Fix Plus and I'm taking the shade Bellini and Luscious and I'm mixing those two together and placing that on top of my lids. I put my finger under my eyes to catch the fallout because sometimes it does happen and I'm just blending that out and packing it onto my lids because I want my lids to look quite shiny and bright. And with the first fluffy brush we used earlier, I'm blending everything out so that um, it looks seamless. With a more precise brush, I'm taking the shade Charmed, I'm sure, again and I'm going to concentrate that and wiggle that brush right at the outer corner of my eye and bring it into the crease to intensify the eyeshadow look. Next, I'm going to do my brows. Um, I'm taking the Colourpop um, brow gel thingy in the shade Dope Taupe and I'm using my Anastasia um, brow brush and I'm just going to fill in my brows slightly and brush them in. And then I'm setting them with my favourite brow gel which is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and I'm just going to run that through my brows so that they don't go haywire during the photo shoot. Moving on to the base, I'm going to be using two primers. The first one that I'm using now is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer and this is because my skin has been kind of dry lately and this primer is moisturising so I'm just going to place that all over my skin before I go in with my second primer which is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer because I know that this primer will make my makeup stay on all day and it will just make my skin look really really good so I'm just placing that all over my face as well and I'm so sorry but I accidentally did not record myself putting on my foundation but I used the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick and if you have not watched my review on that I will put that in the description box below and in the cut section at the top right hand corner of your screen but now I'm just colour correcting my under eye area with the Urban Decay colour corrector in peach and moving on to use my favourite Urban Decay Naked Weightless Skin Concealer and I'm just placing that under my eyes wherever I have a bit of discoloration my forehead, um, my nose and a little bit, oh no, don't have anything on my nose, ha! Huh? Um, on my chin and yeah, I'm just blending it in with a flat, angled flat top um, kabuki brush by 13 Rushes. Mm -hmm. 
And then to set under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, the loose one. And I'm placing that under my eyes. I'm not baking because baking kind of makes me crusty and um, dry. And I'm using the same powder with the, a big powder brush to set my face. For contour today, I'm bringing an old product back. It's the Sleek Contour Kit in Light. And I'm just using a 13 Rushes contour brush to place my contour on my cheeks and on my nose before I blend it out with a foundation brush and a sculpting brush by 13 Rushes. Now for blush, I'm taking NARS Deep Throat Blush and I'm just placing that onto my cheeks. I'm kind of piling it on because I know that on camera it gets washed out. So I'm just gonna go to town. And now I'm adding my favourite part which is, or my favourite product which is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I got the palette or I'm using the palette so I'm putting it under my eyes and using the lightest shade to put at the top of my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. Look at that. Oh! Next, I'm going to finish up my eyes and I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner to line my top lash line and do the outline of my wing. And what I do now usually is that I will fill in my wing, um, not with a Kat Von D Tattoo Liner because I feel that it's not dark enough. So I use and I go in with my Givenchy um, Black Eyeliner to fill in the wing so that it's like jet black. For my lower lash line, I'm placing the shade Caramelized with a smudge brush and I'm just blending that under my eyes or at the lower lash line to balance out the eyeshadow look a bit. And on top of that, at the outer corner of, the, of my lower lash line, I'm actually putting Charmed I'm Sure which is the chocolatey shade we used earlier just to give the eyes a little bit more depth and dimension. Now for lashes, I'm curling them and using my favourite Benefit Roller Lash um, mascara on both my eyes of course and now I'm almost done but I'm gonna put on lashes and the lashes that I'm using is lovey lash in the um, style fleur and oh my god I'm so obsessed with these eyelashes you have no idea I love it and here I'm just placing um, some mascara at my lower lash line but fleur guys lovey lash awesome love it so comfortable for my inner eye corners, I'm taking Champagne Pop and I'm literally popping that into the inner eye corners before I um, layer it with Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and I'm just placing this at the lower lash line at the inner part of my eye as you can see and I just love how this looks and the lips I settle later um, and this is the finished look of my face and my eyes which I really like. So this is the finished makeup look. This was after the whole photo shoot because I didn't have time to do, you know, the posy posy thing um, after I was done because I was late and it was raining. It was a whole drama, okay guys? But this was the finished look. On my lips, I have the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Divine Wine. So this is what I wore for the shoot. My top is actually from Iora. My bottoms or my pants are from Fashion Valley and my shoes are Tory Burch. Accessories I have on my Monica Veneder bracelet and my Michael Kors watch. And my earrings are actually from Lovisa. So this is how my makeup looks like. I really really like how it turned out. I love how my makeup looked like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon in my next one.